What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over Google Ads in market audiences, exactly how you can use them in search campaigns, in display campaigns, and in video campaigns. Uh, so if you're not familiar with in-market audiences, I pulled up the definition from Google here. So in-market audiences is a way to connect with consumers who are actively researching or comparing products and services across the Google Display Network, publisher and partner sites, and YouTube. So what that means is if someone's actively researching cars, automobiles, Google's going to put them into an in-market audience of someone who's actively researching specifically cars, automobiles, for sale. Um, so they're trying to find those types of products for sale. Uh, whatever it is that you're researching. So it might be travel. It could be uh, PPC advertising services. So there's so many different things there. Um, so I'm going to go through exactly what in-market audiences are and how you can use them in your campaigns. So I have a few campaigns open here. I started with a search campaign. So with your search campaign, what you can do is add audiences to the campaign level or the ad group level. So after you create your campaign or as you're setting it up, you can add them to either your ad groups or campaigns. We're going to click plus audiences here. So you can see add to campaign, or you can add to a specific ad group. It'll give you the option once you click this. We're just gonna set it at the campaign level for right now. In search, you always wanna set your audiences as observation rather than targeting, because targeting is gonna narrow it down to just people in that in-market audience. Observation allows you to target everybody who's searching your keywords, and also see how people who are in specific in-market audiences perform with your keywords. So what we're going to do here is click what they are actively researching or planning in market. So you can see all the different options here. So, you know, the example I gave you before, so autos and vehicles. So you can just see the different options here. So motor vehicles, new, used by brand, by type. So you can see there's so many different things in all these different categories. The best thing you can do is search here, either enter a URL, enter a search term, enter a phrase, something like that. Or... So if Google already has some data about your website or your campaigns, you can actually just come to ideas here and they're gonna give some options. Uh, so I run ads here, or at least tutorials, on this account for beachfront decor, farmhouse goals, and Surfside PPC. So it's kind of just a mix of things here. So what you wanna do is come to browse, just enter URL, so I'm gonna do surfsideppc.com. And what it's gonna pull in is the best in-market audiences based on my website. So obviously SEO and SEM services is good advertising and marketing services, web design and development, and then they start to get a little bit, so CRM solutions, business services, business technology, a little bit more open-ended and broad. But for some of these other ones, SEO and SEM services, I can just click on it, click save. Google's gonna add this to my campaign as an in-market audience, as an observation. So what I'm gonna be able to do is break down how this audience performs when they search my keywords and click on my ads. If I can see, for example, this audience performs 10% better than just my average campaign, uh, just based on cost per conversion, based on conversion rate, what I wanna do is come to my bid adjustment here and I can actually increase my bid. So I could increase it by 10%, maybe I wanna increase it by 15%, get as much out of this audience as possible until I start to see those results kind of decline. But you wanna reach that optimal level. Um, so just kind of play around with bid adjustments in your search campaigns, but you always wanna set it up as observation because you'll be able to see how it's performing and decide whether or not you wanna increase or decrease bids for certain audiences. So coming over to our display campaign here, my next tutorial I'm going to go through in 10 audiences, but still on in-market. Let's say we add a new ad group. So we'll just name it in-market audiences. And I'm going to use a different example here than Surfside PPC, just so you could see some of the different, different options. Um, so under audiences, same exact thing, what they are actively researching or planning. And what I'm going to do is I pulled up Cuisinart's website right here. So Cuisinart.com, obviously they sell all sorts of cooking supplies. Uh, we're going to copy and paste this URL right into the top here. So now what you can see is they actually break down, you know, the different things that Cuisinart sells. So juicers and blenders, small appliances, microwaves. So what you would want to do is set up each of these in their own ad group and serve ads for juicers and blenders to people who are looking for juicers and blenders and then send them to a landing page on your website for juicers and blenders. Same exact thing for small appliances, same exact thing for microwaves. So you'd want to set these up actually as different ad groups serve targeted ads and then send them to the best landing page on your website. So that's really the best way to use in-market audiences, finding the best categories for the th products and services that you're selling, whatever it is. So you just want to find them through in-market audiences. They're definitely worth testing, especially for display campaigns. Now, last but not least, I want to go into video campaigns. So it's the same exact thing here. So this is just an in-stream video campaign saying I have no audiences that I'm targeting yet. We're going to click add audiences. So again, for just display and video, it's just going to be targeting as a setting, whereas search is going to be observation. So just keep that in mind. Just because search 
you're, you will narrow your targeting if you just set it as targeting. We did a recent tutorial with targeting versus observation if you have any questions about that. Um, so coming into video. So what we're going to do is click in market life events, custom intent, just like we had. We'll get rid of our current targeting. So they have in market audiences here that we could target. Same exact thing. So what I want to do is come to visit florida.com and I want to enter this URL and see what it pulls up in terms of in market audiences. So it's saying in market trips to Tampa Bay, trips to the Caribbean, trips to Fort Lauderdale, trips to Florida, trips to Miami. So you can see all the different options they have for travel. And then the other thing you can do is let's say someone's actively researching a trip to California or maybe, you know, something like a trip to the Caribbean. If you are visit Florida, you can use those categories and try to target people and get them to visit Florida instead. Get them to visit specific beaches in Florida. So maybe you can find one for family vacationers, different things like that. And just try to find people who are actively researching products and services and then target them with your ads and send them to your website. So that's the whole point of in-market audiences. Google automatically creates these audiences of people who are actively researching products and services online, and you can target them with your advertisements. It's a great way to increase conversions, and you definitely want to test them at the very least. I've had some success using them, so highly recommend using in-market audiences if you aren't already. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching our video, and thank you for subscribing to our channel.